Without any contacts, autopilot is grounded. Trying to manually move each contact from one place to another can be like herding obstinate cattle. Luckily, importing your existing contacts into autopilot is a simple process. So let's get started. Navigate to the contacts section. Select the green plus button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Click on import and select the contact list you wish to import into autopilot. We recommend uploading a CSV file. This will ensure your formatting is captured correctly. But if you don't have one, don't worry. You can import a number of other file formats. Once you've selected the file, you'll be asked to complete some simple field mapping. If you have a field that doesn't exist in Autopilot, simply create a custom field. To do this, click on the drop-down and select Add a custom field. Name your custom field and choose the type of data to be mapped over. If you don't want to map your data to a field, you can simply leave the field blank and we won't carry the data across. When you're satisfied with how your data is being mapped over, hit Continue and you'll see a preview of the data you are mapping over. If you're happy with that, click Continue. If we happen to find an email address in your data that matches an existing contact in Autopilot, we will only update fields that have no prior data. Upon clicking Continue, you'll be asked if you want to assign your new Autopilot contacts to a list. If you wish to add your contacts to a list, you have the option of selecting an existing list or creating a new list. Selecting Import Contacts will then begin the upload process and you'll receive a confirmation pop-up once complete. Your new contacts will now live in the All Contacts list within Autopilot, as well as any list that you created or selected when uploading. And with that, you're ready for takeoff.